Hello, right, uh, what a weekend. So, I haven't weighed myself this morning, um, did a bit of a refeed yesterday, um, I'll get to that in a minute. So, um, as some of you may be aware, I do a little bit of door work, a bit of a bouncer now and again. And generally, I work at, um, well, I help a friend out who has a company at um, Rather Up Market Pub. There's also a wedding venue and a hotel. So it's more of a front of house manager type setup rather than a bouncer as such. But, and the main thing we're there for is to enforce some very strict licensing conditions regarding noise because it's in a big residential area anyway finished there half one two o'clock saturday morning got home got to bed probably about quarter past two half past two I woke up around quarter to six for a piss and the cat was mugging me to go out was mrs meep so rather than just throw a pillow at her which is what i normally do i decided to go downstairs and let her out Good job I did. I could hear running water. It just sounded like a tap was full on. I walked into the living room to see literally water pouring out of the ceiling. Ran upstairs into the bedroom, into the ensuite, and there was just water spraying out from the back of the shower unit. Uh, turns out a fitting from the feed into the shower had let go and water was pumping into the cavity wall the carpet in the bedroom was pooling with water and the living room carpet was absolutely soaked so was my leather suite turned the water off obviously and then uh, proceeded luckily we have um aquavac water back so uh, and I'm so glad when we got it that we didn't get the cheaper ass one which I wanted to get and we got the better one which my wife suggested we get because it saved us a fortune. We took out of the carpet in the living room a bath full, what, 40, 60 litres of water. Uh, it took us about two and a half hours to do it. Um, and it's now got a couple of humidifiers in there running dehumidifier should have saying they're running um and it is slowly drying out luckily the water didn't pool in one place but it spread evenly across the ceiling so though it's poured through in several spots there's no actual real damage to the ceiling apart from a little bit of water staining so nothing that a, a coat of paint won't cure um it looks like once the carpet's fully dry, a good clean, and that'll be fine. So the only negative element is the suite. Um, but, again, it would appear that um, that's drying out quite well, though it's left some staining. But, again, a, a good leather clean um, treatment should cure that. So, all in all, got away with it very, very well. Unfortunately, though, that was me then up. Uh, because I had my day's work to do, which included cutting the lawns and various other things. Um, so anyway, proceeded to go to work that evening. It was supposed to be a 12 o'clock finish, or should I say even a 12 o'clock home going to bed. Still sat there at 2 o'clock in the morning because someone decided to beat the living crap out of his girlfriend in his hotel room. I removed him from his room. In fact, I removed him from the hotel. Uh, we called the police. Um, unfortunately, it was a rather busy night for them. And they'd had, unbeknown to me at the time, they'd had over four separate stabbing incidents in the local area. Not where we were, but in the, 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 the borough ship, so you say the township, within the council. Um, anyway, so uh, uh, we've run up, we've not had a response, so an hour and a half later I've run back and asked where the hell they are, 
and got a rather snotty Jobsworth fucking up his own arse pedantic prick on the phone which infuriated me no end so eventually I lost my temper a little bit and basically told him that if they didn't get there soon then they might as well come down and collect the body of the guy because by the time I finish with him that's all that would be left to which I got a lecture about threatening to kill somebody on the phone on the recorded police phone conversation and that I shouldn't have done it anyway long story short eventually left we we the police didn't turn up while we were there but the guy agreed that he would go to his car to fall asleep he was off his fucking tits so I let him into his car but I wouldn't give him his car keys put the car keys behind reception and he didn't return to the room all night he did go to reception in the morning collect his car keys and leave and the police turned up around four o'clock in the morning I then got a message off my friend who works for the police the next day that said uh, that maybe I should refrain from making such comments when I'm on the phone to police control. He laughed about it. Obviously, nothing's going to happen any further. If I explained my frustration at the arsehole that was on the end of the phone, um, who was telling me that the fact that this bloke might assault his, his partner again was a hypothetical situation. As I explained to him, how the fuck was it hypothetical when he'd already done it once? Anyway, all done. But that resulted in a lover very late night. Um, so, I'm fucking knackered. So anyway, Sunday, both my, me and my wife, very, very tired. Pissing down with rain, miserable as fuck. We're supposed to do some work in the garden. So we ended up going out to a, a local, a very nice restaurant called uh, The Three Acres for Sunday lunch. And I had one. And then I decided that I would not cheat the rest of the day, but I would up my carbs clean for the rest of the day. So I added in about over 150 grams of carbs for the rest of the day. And that was it. And then back up this morning at six, back to the gym as normal, uh, and now sat doing clients updates and the usual stuff it's bank holiday monday here by the way as well which is usually actually works really well because i can actually get all of my clients because they're not at work so yeah rather traumatic uh, weekend <laughs> well not really it's just general shit but it did mean i didn't get a lot of sleep anyway uh last week i was up in aberdeen and in Venice, which is for those of them know right at the top of scotland and a nine hour drive. Um, however, I called him at the Forge Gym and who should bob in but um, Luke Stoltman, Tom Stoltman's brother. Uh, some of you may be aware of Luke and Tom from Strongman fame. Uh, Tom attempted a world record um, stone lift this weekend. I don't believe he got it, but I think that was part. I'm not sure if he even attempted it because it was pissing down with rain. And I think that sort of prevented anything from ever really being happening. But uh, I had a, had a good laugh with Luke, actually. It was quite funny. Um, and he volunteered to be my model in a little bench press video we did for Forge Gym, which I shared on my Facebook page if anyone's interested in it. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> so, there you go. Oh, excuse me. Not really much to report. Um, Diet-wise, I'm at the stage now where I really have two choices. Um, introduce cardio or decrease food further. So the choice is introduce, introduce cardio. However, as I've discussed before, my chosen cardio for this is riding a bike. And as yet, my bike has not arrived. So, the good news is, it is now sitting in a dock in Felixstowe. So, it is here from the States. It needs to clear customs. And then it will be winging its way to me. And as soon as I get it, then I'll start the uh, riding off said bike to the gym and back every morning. It's about 15 miles, 14, 15 miles round trip. 
lots of hills as well. So it's going to be a bit of a shock to the system, but that's going to be the next thing that I add in to move things forward rather than reduce cows any further. Uh, <sighs> okay, now. Sorry, guys. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Um... Yeah, so that's really where we're at. Not much else to say. I have got a list of videos and I'm not on the road this week. Um, so as a result of that, I should get a fair few done this week and be able to get them up. What do you want, Freddie? Um, so that's probably going to help. Um, and I will update you with diet next week. Uh, and where we've gone with it. And hopefully, with any luck, I shall have the bike. Can't wait. I must have been like a kid with Christmas with this fucking thing. I've never... <laughs> I've not been this excited over anything for a long time. Sad, really, isn't it? Anyway, this is what my life amounts to. A cup of coffee and getting excited over a new push bike. Oh, uh, but no... Um, Otherwise, all good. So, take care, guys, and I'll speak to you soon.